Hello electric car lovers, in this channel I cover all the latest tech news surrounding electric cars. I cover the background, feel and drive, the current selling price and the specs and engineering that go into making each car. If you have an electric car that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, I'm reviewing the new 2022 Fisker Ocean. I'll be covering the most important features to see whether it crushes the competition or not. With its interesting technology and affording price for an SUV, that's of luxury. Oh, and one more thing before I start, governments worldwide are pushing electric cars. I guess it's definitely going to cause a revolt. Okay, now back to the video. Founded by Henrik Fisker and his wife Gita Gupta Fisker, Fisker Inc. is an American electric vehicle company specializing in hybrid and electric vehicles. In 2016, Fisker Inc., situated in Southern California, was established as a successor to Fisker Automotive, formed in 2007 by Henrik Fisker, which manufactured the Fisker Karma electric vehicles. Fisker Inc. is creating the Fisker Ocean, an all-electric SUV manufactured from recyclable vegan materials with a range of 300 to 350 miles that is expected to be available in 2019. After merging with Spartan Energy Acquisition Corp, NYSE SPAQ, which is funded by private equity company Apollo Global Management, Fisker Inc. announced an initial public offering on the New York Stock Exchange on July 13, 2020. The IPO will take place on the New York Stock Exchange. Fisker Inc. completed the reverse merger on October 30, 2020 and is now traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol FSK. The Fisker Ocean is loaded down with a boatload of belongings. Fisker Automotive originally began manufacturing automobiles in 2011 with the Fisker Karma serving as the company's flagship model. The company fell out of business within a year and it was sold and it renamed Karma. Henrik Fisker, the company's creator, has kept ownership of his name and is once again waging war on the automobile industry. Fisker appears to be better prepared than he was the last time round. For starters, it'll introduce an electric SUV rather than a big sedan as its first model. The pricing is likewise more reasonable with prices ranging from $37,499 to $68,999 and power outputs ranging from 275 to 540 horsepower respectively. Several more unique elements that you won't find anywhere else in the automobile industry are included in the ocean, which is precisely what a business like this requires to get off the ground. As an avalanche of new electric vehicles flood the market, the tide is shifting in favor of electric vehicles. And Fisker Automotive helps to capitalize on the trend with its Ocean SUV, which is named as the Ocean. The most affordable variant has a starting price of less than $40,000 and has a range of about 250 miles. The Fisker Ocean is a 100% electric SUV produced from November 2022. It's the second vehicle produced by the manufacturer after the Fisker E-Motion. Design and Engineering if you glance up at the ceiling, you could spot a few strange shapes that appear like they belong in a Tron movie. It's the Solar Sky Roof, which is only available on the most expensive versions. According to ideal conditions, the charge generated by this solar panel may offer an additional 2,000 miles of range to your vehicle each year. In order to avoid being simply another aerodynamic hatchback, Fisker designed the ocean with a wide stance and ultra-sim lighting, which he claims makes it unique. There is just one 20-inch wheel design and three 22-inch wheel designs to pick from in this collection. California mode is yet another interesting feature. A single button press enables the ocean's windows to be raised and the sliding roof to be retracted all at once. Fisker claims that this simulates the sensation of driving an open-air convertible. However, the difference between this and any other automobile with a sliding panoramic roof and motorized windows is difficult to discern. The ocean has a distinctive side aspect, to say the least. In addition, the floating roof slopes smoothly to the back, which complements the tough wheel design quite well. Another feature that stands out is the wheel arches that have been expanded at the front and rear. Even while they're immediately noticeable due to the way they have been seamlessly blended into the design, they offer the ocean an incredible athletic posture. Interior. The ocean's interior features a simplistic arrangement that is countered by a few uncomplicated controls and it is lined with repurposed material that helps to encourage environmental sustainability. A few manufacturers have begun to transition away from the use of leather in order to be ecologically friendly. Fisker goes one step further by making a hole inside of the vehicle vegan. Another 
point here is that almost every surface has been covered in repurposed material which includes reused fishing nets, reclaimed rubber and even discarded t-shirts. Rear view mirrors with digital camera feeds and standard equipment as is an electrically adjusted steering column and motorized rear lift gate on all models when compared to the sport trim. The remainder of the range features a panoramic glass roof with a retractable panel that can be opened or closed. California mode available on the ladder allows the top, back and side windows to be opened, creating an open air feel similar to that of a traditional convertible. The 17.1 inch center high resolution display is a show stopping feature of the device. It has two operating modes. When in control mode, it behaves just like a conventional infotainment system. It's possible to operate all the car's functions through the screen. This includes climate control and driving modes as well as navigation and music. When the car is parked, you'll be able to activate the Hollywood mode. After that, the screen flips into landscape mode and according to Fisker, creating an immersive viewing environment for both front and back seat occupants. Even while it has not been confirmed, the latter remark gives us reason to suspect that you'll be able to connect streaming sites such as Netflix. Over-the-air software upgrades will be standard on all models, with Fisker's hypersound technology as an optional feature on some. An enormous subwoofer is housed within a gigantic 500-watt 16-speaker system. The limo mode, which allows rear passengers to manage the radio level as well as the temperature control system is also available. Performance. The entry-level model will be powered by a single motor and will be front-wheel driven. The Ocean has 205 kW available from a single electric engine and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.9 seconds. There's also a permanent all-wheel drive option with a dual electric motor arrangement that generates 403 kilowatts. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds with this much power. There's also a third option, which is an all-wheel drive system that allows the driver to remove the rear electric motor for more range. To put it another way, it's the best of both worlds. The base sport model will be equipped with two driving modes, Earth and Fun, which will be included as standard. One gives the greatest possible range while the other makes the automobile more, shall we say, enjoyable. The Ultra, Extreme and Ocean One trims are equipped with the aforementioned mods as well as Hyper and Off-Road. The Hyper mode is designed to chase after Teslas while the Off-Road prepares the vehicle for that goal. In addition to the features listed above, Smart Traction Torque Vectoring will be available on the top three trim levels. All variants are equipped with 20-inch wheels and low-rolling resistance tires, which are standard equipment. Additionally, a set of high-performance tires fitted on 22-inch rims may be ordered. The front-wheel drive Ocean has a towing capacity of 2040 pounds, while all-wheel drive models have a towing capacity of 4000 pounds. Battery life. The Ocean is available with a variety of battery sizes. However, Fisker has not disclosed the actual capacity of the batteries. Nonetheless, the Environmental Protection Agency believes that the single motor vehicle can drive 250 miles on a single charge. With twin motors, the estimated range can be increased to more than 350 miles. It's also compatible with the majority of electric vehicle charging stations. And Fisker has collaborated with Electrify America to provide owners a certain amount of complimentary charging. Neither the Ocean's charging times nor its specific charging times have been announced. And we've been told that the optional roof-mounted solar panels, known as Solar Sky, may provide up to 2,000 miles of range per year under perfect conditions. That assertion, on the other hand, is still up in the air. Price and model range. Fisker Automotive is introducing the Ocean, a new all-electric SUV in 2023 production of the Ocean One launch editions and will begin in November of next year, with the first 5,000 units being made available as Ocean One launch editions. The entry-level sport with FWD is priced at $37,499, making it one of the most affordable electric vehicles currently available on the market. The Ultra is available for $49,999, while the Extreme is available for $68,999. The Ocean One will be the name of the first 5,000 devices, which will retail for the same price as the Extreme. The Fisker undercuts all its major competitors, particularly those from Germany. It will, however, have a difficult time competing with Tesla. The Model Y starts at roughly $40,000 for the standard range, which is the most affordable option. Its price? Range is within the $40,000 to $50,000 range for the Audi Q4 e-tron. It's undoubtedly more visually appealing and the inside will most probably be of higher quality. Although the lower versions just have 201 horsepower, they have the same standard range of 250 miles as the Fisker. 
The Mercedes EQC is a premium vehicle that competes directly with high-end vehicles. While the outside style is unusual, the inside styling is something that cannot be overlooked. It too features a dual motor arrangement, but it only produces 408 horsepower and has a range of 276 to 292 miles, according to the manufacturer. On paper, the Fisker Ocean looks to be the clear winner, yet it will be difficult to persuade potential buyers to switch from companies that have been around for decades. In the case of Tesla, it was a little more than just a decade. This wraps up my review of the 2022 Fisker Ocean. Let me know what you think of it. Thank you for sticking it out through the very end of this video. Nothing helps off my channel more than you all watching the entire video. These videos take a long time to make and they are a labor of love. If you'd like to see my channel grow, please help spread the word. And until next time, remember, the best experiences aren't about where you end up, but who you're lucky enough to be on the journey with.